Filming of a movie inside of a movie. Filmception. Furious movie now. Take all the cars out here. Oh, I'm waiting for Herbie to come around, man. Oh I'm yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan's return. I'm waiting for Don Knotts. <laughs> CGI Don Knotts. Yeah. Make his grand entrance. <laughs> that Mustang's been going in circles. Car 54, where are you? Oh, you know they tried to remake that. Did you see that? They did. Yeah, it was terrible. Like they're using like fart jokes in it and stuff. I still try to do something with the three stooges. All right, guys. So back there's the Silver Moon Drive-In Theater, and apparently they filmed a lot of scenes in Lakeland there too. This area is about seven miles from, you know, the shopping center of uh, Southgate. So um, this was the only far uh, location for filming. But it's perfect because that's like, you know, back in the day, like the 70s, 60s, where they had drive-in theaters. We still have that here in Florida, and this is one of the, the best theaters for watching drive-in movies. Apparently Jurassic World showing. Coming soon, Ant-Man versus the Wasp. I believe uh, Brian Cranston's character's uh, house is located here. Hey guys, so this is the house that is used by Brian Cranston's character in the movie uh, One and Only Ivan. That's his house. So neat! In the uh, shots that I've seen, his uh, blue Mustang's parked out in the front. So <laughs> pretty sweet. Now this is Dixieland Elementary School. I heard this is going to be used in the movie. I, I don't know though. But since I'm passing it, I'm like, hey, why not get some footage of it just in case that it is used. Don't know. Check it out guys, they are filming that upcoming Disney movie, The One and Only Ivan, starring Brian Cranston, Angela Jolie, Danny DeVito, some other stars. But uh, this Southgate arch was also used in the Edward Scissorhands movie. So I'm going to check this uh, place out as far as the fence allows me, but there's a fencing right there. It probably says hot set, so don't, can't come in or something. The car I'm looking for is the, the blue convertible um, Mustang that I've seen uh, Brian Cranston with in these um, uh, behind the scenes shots. If I find that car, maybe I'll see Brian Cranston, but really, I just want to see the car. Check out this stuff. It's a period piece, so it looks like the 70s. See those cars right there? 
Nice. So take a look closer. It's hard with all the fences around here, but I can go to the Publix area maybe. Um, and then get a little closer look. It's gonna get really busy later on. So you can see what they're doing here. There's a bowl of ramen now. Tokyo Steakhouse. Looks like a bit of a greenness in that Big Top store. Big Top is the uh, store where they put the, uh, the gorilla. And that's going to be Brian Cranston's store, I believe. Very cool. I see old car, I film. Oh, look at that one. Freaking old Mustang. That's not the one I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for has a brighter blue. <laughs> you kind of see it. There's a little Volkswagen. It's like an El Camino or a Ranchero, and I think I see the Mustang over here. Look at this, check out, check out this El Camino. But here's the car I've been looking for. This is the car that Brian Cranston drives in the movie, I believe. That's gotta be it. it looks out of shape, though. That must be it. Very awesome. Guys, this is the uh, Mustang I've been looking for, I think. The problem is, it looks just like it, but there's a lot of rust on the side. I don't know if that's it or not. But this is the only car that matches the ones I've seen in the uh, behind the scene pictures for Brian Cranston. But that one seems to be in better shape, though. Maybe this is like an, an extra car for it. I don't know. I don't see a license plate on it, obviously. Look at these sweet cars. And there's all kinds of uh, production equipment. Freaking crane. But this whole area is like barricaded so you can't get beyond it. I mean, I could walk past it, but then I'd probably get in trouble. Super sweet Nova, oh my goodness. It's like an El Camino. I'm trying to get a little closer, but it's still far. Jeez. Nice. But there is the store that's been using the movie. Big Top Mall. Out of their uh, store up there, and I'm like, what's going on? Something, something's happening. Yeah. And the next thing I know, I see it uh, in the uh, paper that they're doing a movie. I'm like, oh, wow. That's awesome. So this is definitely the, the father's car? Yeah. That's sweet. They were using that a lot past a couple of days, and then they were using Dixieland uh, Elementary. And then the lady wrote a book about it. The gorilla passed away, I think, 2013. Oh no. That's really cool. And they're using those trucks right there. Damn Volkswagen. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's some, apparently some old Ford. So that's actually a movie vehicle right there? Yeah. Nice. Four. With the rag top down. Glass light bulbs. Yeah. He's trying to get his car in here. So how did he get the action? I can get the action. I can get the action. This is my second one. TV show? Yeah. I remember that one. I think it was season three or something. I'm going to be discovered today. Right now. That one's not quite as good. That one's not quite as good as the original. Don Knotts is going to make a return. There you go. That's like a CGI. Yeah. CGI Don Knotts. This is about all the action we're going to get today, I think. Where are they eating? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's give you the McDonald's. They're probably in, in, going to eat in, in Tokyo or Snake Park. Hit that car, buddy. <laughs> Dice. Hi. No, 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 yet. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Might be. How, how about this guy? Who's this other guy? <laughs> Let's see, I can film it anyways, just in case. <laughs> he's famous because he's. Sweet Roadrunner, guys. Or Satellite. I think he's a Roadrunner. Look at the Roadrunner, the Volkswagen left. Nice cloud. 
So apparently it's not just 60s and 70s cars, they also want like 80s and 90s cars. So we got this, I guess, 90s looking Mustang. Head north toward West Oak Drive. I'll just film all these cars. One of those is going to be in the movie at least. This Bronco is definitely pretty retro, like 80s, 90s. Don't know this to use in the movie, I don't care. I like this car, it's a Nova. Let's see. He's like, get away from I'm here! Oh, is it raining? Covering up their equipment now. It's raining. It's not like 4 a.m. It's supposed to be 2, so that pushes everything back, so there's not even anything on the scale. And then it may take an hour or so. I just want you to waste your time and sit in the heat. Take you and see something. Nobody's here all day. Okay. Are you guys still there? Obviously, it's in here. Smell fried chicken. Right? It's like a Rivera. Where's the chicken tenders? It's his joy riding it. Can we eat mommy? What? My gosh, that's going to be. Yeah, if, if it is. Can you tell what that guy's doing on the, on the ground? That guy on the ground, do you know what he's doing? I don't know, uh, something sacred. I think so. <laughs> it's, it's an ancient Lakeland ritual. Maybe he's trying to figure out something. That's where I'm standing, right there by the barricade. He was mad because he got an alarm saying that. Don't show up, don't show up. Come here. <laughs> the, the actor chairs it down there. You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, the brown. Yeah, it's just so far. It's been starting to rain. Oh, really? Hopefully. You know, they may have got some of the cars from friends here. Yeah, they have touches on that. Are they extras? They might be extras. Yeah. He does a YouTube worker. You're not. You look at Alan. I have an insta show. I heard about it. Yeah, that was my sister. The lady that was all dressed up in the shirt. And the blue pants. Yeah, I just thought she was part of the thing, you know? Yeah, basically. Yeah, that is a director. That's a director, I think. That girl, she's a director. I guess they're decorating the Hallmark, they're using that too. I think so. A Hallmark next to a bowling alley, so you like, you know, go get the card and then go bowling with your wife. Right. <laughs> Mickey in the window. <laughs> Driver's in. Look at that plane. What is he doing? <laughs> right. Hey, look at that. Look at that Challenger. I didn't see those in the nineties. <laughs> they're, they're, they're prototypes. Are they putting that right over the Jeep? Look at this Challenger. My goodness. That's the Knight Rider, the new Knight Rider, man. They're redoing it again. Are they? Alright. No, I just met him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's another tall guy. Oh, back there. I, I met him too. I hope so. Tons of vectors over there.
traffic jam with old cars. All that work to get that Hallmark logo off the window. They didn't have shorts like that in the 90s. Right? Of course, have like track suits and stuff, man. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going with that Hallmark sign? That sounds beautiful. I want to see that in the uh, Renovo go at it. Yeah, me too. They got the parking lot, so yeah. That is really sweet. It's like invisible. Yeah. Do you say clogging or jogging? Jogging. I'm right. jogging. I'll just start jogging. But they probably recognize me. Like when I go up, yeah, they'll be like, who's this go. Russian? This Russian right. guy. We got him, yeah. Put and sit him. We were hoping to hop in the car and get out of here. So I'm, like yeah, I'm having a hard time navigate this turn here. <laughs> Is it that one? He was the one. Oh, I, th I think that's, that's the... That's his. Uh, yeah. He may be in that right now, coming over. Might be the owner. Oh, maybe the owner. You don't think that's Cranks? Or, uh, not Cranks, but, uh, Brian? You don't think that's Brian? Right? I don't know. Can, can, can you see? Huh? Who's in it? No, nah, that's not. Is it, probably just the owner. Yeah. Well, maybe they're still working on it right now. Ooh, no, no license plate? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah that's against the law. No tags. 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 No he blew past the stop sign. So there's like probably no way I can go get him. Citizen rep. If you did for <laughs> I told you to put the order in. I should right. have to write it. Is here? Yeah. Some juice don't do it. I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan. Oh, yeah. Alright. I've seen it. Because they open from 11 to whatever. They probably get five grand by five o'clock. Yeah. after work, and I was like right over here. This is my dad, by the way. Hey, how you doing? I'm Jordan. So uh, they were like driving back and forth for like a scene. Yeah, they were doing something with the guys and I, on yeah. the brakes or something. Most of the shots are going to have computers splicing. Yeah. That'd be a lot of editing you'd have to go through. Yeah, I guess when. I think the movie still with the most edits would be Spun. What's that? Spun. That Mickey Rourke in it, uh, Billy Corgan. Brady Murphy. I didn't expect I would. <laughs> that movie came out like 2002. It was like, it was like five, 5,000 edits or more than that into it. Oh, wow. So like, they'll, they'll show like one. Bullet. bullets yeah yeah or the right tail in the back yeah, you know no, so and I don't see a single pinto out there <laughs> all my money back I think there is one. Oh yeah you're right she is not a vampire yes <laughs> well, look you know he's on right that's stunt driving here we go gentlemen start your engines Best car in the movie, right there. Beautiful car. Very beautiful. No seatbelt. No seatbelt. Put your back into it, man. That must not be very correct. Ooh, I'm calling the police. Bye, Bye. Bye. 
action. Background action. My car's on a movie set. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the Southgate Shopping Center, and uh, they're still filming some stuff, but it's they're, they're, there's there's no more celebrities coming. Like I should have came yesterday if I wanted to see like Brian Cranston, um, Ariana. I forgot her name, but yeah, the, there's no celebrities today. It's but just a bunch of extras uh, doing um, background work. Now all the extras are dressed up like they're in the 90s, uh, but a lot of the cars that they had over there, there were cars from the 60s and 70s, and then they also had cars from the 80s and 90s. So it looks like there's going to be like two different time periods shown. Um, I even saw uh, Brian Cranston's uh, Ford Mustang, and it looked rusted out, which is interesting because. On day one of filming in here in Lakeland, they showed his uh, Mustang in pristine condition. So uh, I'm assuming they aged it to show the uh, the lapse in time, I guess. I don't really know. I've never read this book called um, The One and Only Ivan, but apparently it's like a children's book because I, I know kids who have read this book. I guess I haven't, though. But it's, it's really cool, though. It's just cool seeing all this stuff. Um, not too far from here, they have the, the, the Dixieland middle school or whatever and then there's another like a south so some other uh school where they had their uh their trailers and whatnot and then they had the house that was serving as brian cranston's character's house uh less than a mile away so a lot of these places that they're filming in lakeland they're all right next to each other to be honest i mean at least by car um oh and then there's also the silver moon drive-in theater which i'm probably going to drive by um, I don't think they've changed anything with that because that looks like it's still in the 70s and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I had a really cool experience. You know, I've met a lot of uh, movie fans who, you know, they didn't really know what was going on. Some of them thought they were going to see celebrities today. Uh, unfortunately, no. But it's still cool seeing uh, filming, especially for a big Disney production because everyone knows Disney productions are big budgeted and they are the real deal. So I enjoyed that experience. I do have a two hour drive to make back to Orlando though. <laughs> but uh, very sweet. I can't wait to see this movie when it opens next uh, summer, I think. I think summer 2019 or sometime in 2019. That's what they're aiming for.